amigos de Wine News TV Puerto Rico, qué placer para mí estar en Ombra, aquí el restaurante de mi amigo Sandro con Giacomo Neri, una bodega que amo de la Toscana, Casanova de Neri. Giacomo, how good to meet you. Thank you. Incredible you to have you here on the program. I've enjoyed your wines for many years. I want to thank Fine Wine Imports and the Montalvo family for making this possible. Um, I want to talk about uh, the winery, Casanova de Neri. I know you're part of the family. Can you tell us uh, maybe in one, two minutes the story of the winery? Well, Eduardo, thanks a lot. My pleasure, first time in Puerto Rico, and uh, very happy to be here today. Casanova di Neri. Casanova di Neri is a really incredible history in Montalcino. It's a family-run business. My father founded the wineries 52 uh, years ago. And uh, the passion, the vision of my father was to find the best terroir in Montalcino to produce unique wine from Sangiovese Grey. Okay. And, uh, well, my father passed many, many years, 30 years ago, 35 years ago, but the philosophy remained the same. Right. For me, for my sons today, our dream, our philosophy is to produce uh, unique wine from the best vineyard location. Okay, we have the Rosso di Montalcino first, or to your right, let's taste together and let's toast. Uh, what can you tell me about this, this wine right here? Well, a Rosso di Montalcino is a pure Sangiovese, the yeah. same of Brunello. For Casanova di Neri, it is not a second wine, but we have 18 hectares of vineyard where we produce the grape for the Rosso di Montalcino. It's not second choice, but we have vineyards where we produce the Rosso di Montalcino. Pure Sangiovese, uh, the wine age uh, about uh, 12, 15 months in barrels, and the Casanova di Neri Rosso di Montalcino idea is uh, to produce very balanced pure Sangiovese from Casanova di Neri in Montalcino, bouquet ten in an acidity. You can start to drink young after one year, two years. You can keep uh, five, ten years. In the great vintages, you can yeah. age I, I for love, a long, I love time. the nose. There's there's herbs. There's black. Uh, there's and there's a red our, fruit. Our style. Bouquet, tannins, acidity, the balance, the, the beauty of the wine. Elegant, very elegant. We try, notes. our philosophy is to produce uh, very balanced and elegant wine. You yeah, can and, there, the, and, there, and there's the minerality of the, of, the, of the terroir, you got a little bit of, of the iron, a little bit of blood orange. I love these wines that are so... A little of uh, herbs, cherry. Cherry, maraschino black, cherry, a little black pepper. A little uh, graphite. And so, so vibrant, so juicy, the acidity. It's incredible. These are very gastronomic wines. Lovely, lovely, lovely wine. 100% Sangiovese, right? 100% Sangiovese, gross. Okay, and in, in terms of pairing, if you open one of these bottles back at home, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you cook, what do you put on the table? Well, the Rosso, our Rosso Montagino, I believe, is a perfect wine for many type of food. You can drink with a sandwich, pasta, pizza, pizza, yeah. uh, steak, very easy to drink. It, it, it's a, it's our Rosso di Montalcino, I repeat again, is a very, uh, is a perfect wine for good food yeah, the, the, and, the, the, and, and good people. Yeah, Sorry. exactly. Yeah, that's the most important thing. I love the drying effect at the end. Um, it, it, once you go for a bite of food or for a second glass, it's very elegant. has has energy. has has lovely, lovely energy to it. Um, this is a 2020. Delicious. You can get these wines here in Puerto Rico with fine wine imports or come here to Ombra uh, and, and you know have a bottle here with some delicious Italian food. Let's get into the Brunello di Montalcino. I want to take a little bit more time because Brunello is a category in itself. You know, Brunello di Montalcino is worldwide known and I want to hear from you uh, maybe like in a minute or two. What's a Brunello di Montalcino wine? Well, it's a unique expression about the Great Terroir, pure Sangiovese, and uh, for us, for Casanova di Neri, we produce uh, today four different uh, single vineyards from Brunello di Montalcino. I repeat again, Casanova di Neri, the quality, and you can know very well in the glass, it is uh, Brunello di Montalcino. Mm -hmm. It's my life, right? Uh, but really, uh, 
St. Grape, San Giovese, pure San Gio Ante Fazzè, San Giovese Grape, our Brunello aged in uh, barrels for 36, 42 months, another 12, uh, 12 months in, uh, in bottle. And the style of Casanova, we produce the Brunello White Label, the Brunello Tenuta Nuova, Brunello Cerretalto and Brunello Giovanni Nelli. Same grape, same area, Montalcino, same winemaker, but you can find three different, very good and unique expressions about Brunello di Montalcino at Casanova. Your role, you make the wine. So aside from being owner, I, you make the wine. I am the winemaker with my son. I, I, I spend my time in the vineyards. So it's a family project. It's a family project. I love the nose here, the elegance, and the but also after test that you find in the palate the same bouquet, cherry. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there's a correspondence for sure. Uh, bouquet and palate. After test in our rose de Montalcino, violet, a little of cherry, a little, little spicy, but not so much. Yeah, good acidity, but sweet tannins. And the note that comes from, I guess, the soil, the iron, that note, the blood orange, a little bit of that. Uh, Delicious citrusy, red crunchy fruit to it because obviously it's a red wine. But Ricardo, you're... sorry, congratulations, red orange. Yeah, there's there's red, red orange. orange. I, I love that red orange note to it, um, and it definitely takes me to a place where I want to eat. I mean, these are very gastronomic wines, very well made, and uh, the acidity here is brilliant because one of your most uh, famous ingredients is tomato, and tomato is a fruit, and it's acidic, and it has some sweetness to it. So this is the type of wine that, to me, could pair very well with a tomato-based sauce or a tomato-based dish. And it's, it, it's hard to, to pair to tomato with certain wines, other wines. I'm thinking Cabernet Sauvignon or I'm thinking other wines. This is fantastic. This is delicious. Um, but Brunello di Montalcino um, is, is a category that has, has grown over the past couple of years, has made strides in different parts of the world. Or do you think that Brunello has achieved all that he can achieve? Because it's worldwide famous. Like, what's the next step for Brunello would be my, uh, my question, if you will. Eduardo, in my opinion, in my experience, Casanova di Neri is a young uh, history. But uh, we, we put a lot of bricks in the Montalcino wall history. And I believe, uh, for me, I am Montalcino, only Montalcino, only Brunello, uh, San Giovese Grape. Uh, our, in the last 30 years, Brunello Montalcino evolution has been incredible. Right, my, my question, I guess, uh, I, I believe that for me, for me, what's in the, the, quality, the quality, the quality, the quality. Improve the quality. Improve the quality. Uh, when your father started, how many wines were you making? Because you said that aside from the Rosso, you make four different Brunello. My right? father, at the beginning, uh, there were the Brunello White Label, is the historical label from Casano Avenieri. First vintage bottle uh, was uh, 1978, and Cerretaldo. Cerretaldo. You, you have added two wines. Two wines. Okay. After uh, me, I, I created uh, Tenuta Nuova and Giovanni Neri. These have been amazing. The Giovanni Neri is an homage to, to the family. To uh, we the know family. Giovanni Neri is a nice uh, history, a crazy experience for me. We bought uh, these vineyards, this vineyard uh, in the end of 17. Mm -hmm. Magnific terroir, southeast of Montalcino. Very old, is uh, more of uh, 55 years old. Big plants. Small production, the cluster, uh, the bunches are very small, but uh, another unique expression from Casanova di Neri at Montalcino. We, we produce now the Rosso di Montalcino in these vineyards at seven hectares, and the, this year we release the first vintage bottle from Casanova di Neri, the Bruno di Montalcino Giovanni Neri 18. But, uh, now yeah. we will test it together. The, the delicious. Uh, these, these two rosos are unbelievable. It Very is a, good. Uh, we call it is Rosso di Montalcino, but for me it is a great expression. I thought, of San I, it's I, not Rosso I, di Montalcino. I, I thought, and if you're mistaken, you could uh, confuse this for a Brunello. This has been fantastic. I really appreciate your time. I know you have a busy schedule. I wish you nothing but the best. Uh, with the brand, you're with very good, in very good hands with uh, fine wine imports. So I want to toast to you, and I'll reach out when I'm in Tuscany later this year. Wait for you. 
Busquen estos vinos de Casanova Dineri, son una delicia, los consiguen con los amigos de Fine Wine Imports, estamos ante una de las mejores bodegas de Montalcino. Recuerda suscribirte al canal y darle share. Salud. Sí, salud.